What you allow, you encourage. In leadership, this nugget of truth is especially true when it comes to the building of a healthy culture. When the leader allows fun and candor, initiative and diligence, and all of those qualities will be encouraged to flourish. Similarly, when you allow culture killers like grumbling and selfishness and laziness, so too are you encouraging these to take root and grow. Now, a highly respected leader in one of my client companies once put it this way. I love the way he said it. Some people seem to bring so much negativity to the team, it's like they think it's part of their job description. And that, you know what, that, that really got me to thinking. Because I thought, I said, what would the titles and job descriptions look like for those people who might be culture killers in an organization? So here's my take on it. See if you have any of these people in your organization. First, chairman of that'll never work committee. Also known as the we've tried that before task force. That's a real momentum killer. I'm sure you've seen that one. Next, that's not in my job description supervisor. Now, personal boundaries are good and healthy, but when they slide into this role, it will feel like your whole team is swimming in peanut butter. Next, lead per self-promotion strategist. Now, you can spot these people anywhere because they somehow always make sure that the spotlight is on themselves. Forget anyone else. Next, the clock says it's time to go home coordinator. They often work closely with the, that's not in my job description supervisor. Now, you're not looking for workaholics or perfectionists, just people who are committed to getting the job done, plain and simple. Next, regional, I'm in a bad mood distributor. The long face, the heavy sigh, the snippy answers. This person wears that with a bad mood, with like a badge of honor, and makes sure that everyone on the team knows that they've had a bad day. And the, more importantly, they can quickly kill your culture. And my favorite, the local BMW manager. In every life, a little misfortune must fall. But this person wallows in their personal drama and constantly bitches, moans, and whines. They attempt to draw the rest of the team into their tale of woe. You know what? You're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem. Incessant drama will wear your team down. When a leader allows any of these titles and or these behaviors to really creep into their team, they are in effect encouraging their continuation. Let me say that again. You're encouraging their continuation if you allow that. So keep a vigilant watch for anyone who might assume any one of these roles and then take action when they appear. Oh yeah, take action if you've already got some of these people in there too. It's the right thing to do for everyone because what you allow, you encourage to your success.